Okay, so today I'm doing a little something different. Uh, so like I said in my intro, I want to provide sort of all domains of science to you, especially within the realm of physics. And again, like I said in my intro, I'm an aspiring biophysicist, and I'll, and that's what I'll, that's what I'll be getting my PhD in, in biophysics. Um, with that being said, though, the the GR series is something that uh, I've studied. I've studied a lot of GR because it's it's been very interesting to me, and I've studied it for about a few years or a few years now, and I've studied the tensor calculus and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I want to start now with a biophysics playlist. So, bio physics playlist. And so what is, so there's the structure of this playlist is going to be somewhat loose because, um, again, I, I'm not on any time crunch or anything like that. So if I feel like I want to go deep into one subject in biophysics, then I will. And I most likely will do that. This is going to be a broad overview of what's to come. Oops. Of what's to come in biophysics. With that being said, though, this is going to be the point where if you want me to focus on something in GR or something in biophysics or even something in a different realm of science, uh, then you can feel free to go into my Patreon page and become a member. And by doing that, you'll be able to have a say in what I, uh, what I display next okay? and how I prioritize what I'm going to make a video in next. So let's jump straight into the biophysics. So again, this is sort of a broad overview of what's to come. So what is biophysics? Well, it's sort of in the name, it's biology. It's the physics of biology or the physics of, life sci of, the, of the life sciences. Okay, and there's tons and tons of different ways we can go about studying biophysics. So let's say, so I'm just gonna make a tree here so I'll make sort of like an outgrowing tree like this. So bio physics. And I will circle this in green. This is the center of our tree. What what does biophysics encompass? Biophysics is not like GR in the sense that when you study it it's not structured to the, it's not structured to the point where you're like step to the point where you're studying uh, first the metric tensor and transformations and then you move into uh, the affine connection and then you move into the covariant derivative and then you move into the Ricci uh, or the Riemann curvature tensor and then you move into the Ricci tensor and then you go into more advanced topics. Biophysics is really really not like that. Biophysics is more like a um, there's spectroscopy over here, so I'll put there's spectroscopy over here. There's spectroscopy over here. There's microscopy. Microscopy. These are so. These are sort of the technological. Uh, integrative factors in biophysics. These are sort of the two main ways that we go about studying biophysics, but then there's also the life science part. There's, uh, there's, uh, there's the structure. There's protein, protein and RNA structure. Right, and this is where I, this is what I study, RNA and protein structure. Um, and then there is, and, and then there's membrane dynamics. We can go, so membrane dynamics. And this is the dynamics of cellular membranes. Who you remember when you studied the fluid mosaic model of membranes. Uh, they're made up of lipids, they have intervening uh, in, in, transmembrane proteins that sort of uh, dictate the fluidity of the membrane, 
Uh, there's different chemicals that reside within the membrane, like cholesterol, that, that render the membrane more or less rigid, and all this kind of stuff. And that is a whole, the, the membrane dynamics and membrane studies in biophysics is a whole study in and of itself. It's almost, it's almost as if it's separate from protein and RNA structure, but in some senses, in some ways, they're also interconnected. Okay. And then there's also... Um, and then there's also larger scale things. There, we don't shy away from learning about the physiology of uh, the uh, by the physics, the physics of larger systems. The systems, larger systems. So this includes stuff like. I'll do this in a different color. This includes stuff like. Um, cardiovascular systems, cardiovascular systems, uh, the nervous systems, nervous system, um, and so on. And so on. So we can learn. We can learn the physics. We can learn the differential equations that govern that govern pulsatile flow, for example, in in veins and vasculature. We can study the. We could study the conduction, or we can we can study the the circuit the the, the circuitry of nervous systems. We could study how voltages propagate down axons. Right, so th so this is a physics of larger systems, and this is a part of biophysics. Right, strictly looking at the physics, we could look at the physiology of these systems. The physiology is the outcome, is the outcome of these systems, um, and that's very important because if we find that there's uh, there's a degree of offset in the outcomes, that that is that's the study of pathophysiology. Okay, and that that's something we're not. That's something that we're not probably going to go into in biophysics. But again, all of this is interconnected. Okay. The next thing, the, the next thing. Is the mathematics behind all this? So the math. Mathematics, behind, all of this. So what does that include? That includes, uh, per, um, in structure determination, this often includes the Fourier transform. So I'll do this in the same color as I did, as I did these guys. So the Fourier transform. Uh, oh, RM. This also includes um, the coding. Coding is a big part of biophysics and uh, physiology because uh, oftentimes we're confronted with differential equations that we can't solve. And so we need to use MATLAB or Python to, uh, to take a look at uh, these differential equations and make approximations to find their solutions. And the, the 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 differential equations dictate perhaps the motion, the internal motion of, of, of protein dynamics. It might dictate the uh, how the how the cardiovascular system behaves, for example. Okay, so coding is a big big part of biophysics, and that's something I do want to get into, but I'm probably not going to get into uh, yet. I've had a lot of exposure to advanced MATLAB. And I really, really want to do that. I don't, I don't have an idea on how I want to get about, go about doing that, though, quite yet. Um, okay. I'll go back to my black pen. What else does biophysics encompass? Well, it can also encompass... We'll take a little, if we take microscopy, for example. So, the, so there's math that goes into microscopy. So there's all this Fourier transform kind of stuff that goes into microscopy. But just to give you a sense of how nuanced and how detailed we could, we can get into this, which is what I want to do, 
Um, there is quantum. Quantum mechanics. That goes into understanding how electron microscopy works. Right. And quantum mechanics also it dapples in spectroscopy when we talk about quantum yields and stuff like that. Right. So you could start to see how how a large how this big large picture of biophysics uh, becomes into fruition. The when we study protein and RNA structure, something else that I haven't quite covered yet. We actually I'll do this in the same color. So I'll I do uh, my apologies for my dog making noise in the background. And we can do we can study the conformations. Conformations of these proteins and RNAs. We can also study. We can also study the uh, not just the structures, but we can study sort of the evolutionary similarities between similar proteins. Similarities and differences. Right and differences. Okay. Um, we can also go into the physics of organelles. Right, so how organelles move. Uh, I'll do that in a, another color. The physics of organelles. Or ion concentrations in cells. We can also study um, cellular cellular signaling. Cellular signaling and, cell and cellular motion. Cellular motion is very, very important. Uh, especially these two guys have huge, huge clinical re relevance. And, uh, they have huge clinical significance because um, understanding how and why cells move and understanding how and why cells uh, provide signals to other cells is uh, plays a large role in understanding cancer dynamics. Um, cancer, again, cancer is one of those things that the world sort of focuses on because it's it's such it takes the toll of so many lives. Uh, so these two guys come together and provide cancer cancer dynamics. Okay, and last but not least, perhaps not last, I probably am, um, I probably am uh, missing a few things here, but I have taken extensive courses in imaging techniques. Uh, medical imaging. And a lot of physics goes into medical imaging. For example, MRI. MRI uses a lot of quantum. It uses a lot of quantum because because uh, you're dealing fundamentally with protons. Okay, my dog's being super annoying, so I'll I'll end this pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, so the quantum goes into here as well. So this is more or less a, a bird's eye view of biophysics. And 
we want to be able to investigate biophysics. Now, I don't know exactly where I'm going to start. If anyone has any uh, preference, then please, uh, by all means, visit my Patreon page and become a member. If not, I will begin one of these areas and just start going from there. So I hope to see you in the next video.